Hi and welcome to the next tutorial in the Web Plus X5 series. In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can create new pages um, and how we can make pages look consistent through the use of master, uh, master pages. Okay, so this is where we left off last time. We had created our page, um, but now I think I need to expand on this a little bit by adding a few more pages. In order to add a new page you need to look down at this section here where it says site. Look for the icon that with the plus icon and click on plus. You can give your page a name. Um, so I'm going to call this one Early Life. You can give your file name, uh, so Early Life again. Try and keep it all with no spaces and all lowercase letters. If you want to have a space in there, use an underscore. So like that. Click on OK. Early Life now appears over here. Um, now, I want my title to be on every single page. Uh, if I click on Early Life, it's not there. Now, I could just simply copy and paste Early Life onto here, um, try and line it up, keep flicking back and forward, trying to nudge it into place, but that would be a real sort of faff and it just never really works. The best thing to use is a master slide. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take that and cut it out. So control and X to cut out. I'm then going to go to this section where it says master pages. I'm then going to click on master A and double click on it. I'm then going to paste that content in here and put it exactly where I want it to be. I sometimes use the arrow keys just to nudge it into place. Okay, if I go back to home I can see that Andy Dolinsky is actually there. If I go to Early Life, I can see it's actually there. Now to see what slides are applied, if you right click on a um, page, go to Page Properties, you can then go to Appearance and Background um, and choose certain features of those things. But if you click on Background, you can deselect the actual master slide from that page. So if I click on OK now on Early Life, you can see that it's got nothing applied. I'll right click again, page properties, background, apply it, click OK and then it's back. Now having one page is all well and good, having two pages even better, but you need a way from getting from the first page to the second page and this is where your navigation comes into play. I want the navigation to be on every page so I need to go back into the master slide um, and I'm going to add a navigation bar. Now in order to do that what you need to do is click on the uh, add navigation icon which is over here. I'm going to um, click it and then from this point you can choose the type of navigation that you want to include. Now I've got like a black background thing going on here so I'm going to keep to like the block sort of uh, styles but there are loads to choose from, absolutely tons. Um, you just need to have a, have a little look through them all. So including like things like vertical versions as well, if you want to. But I'm going to stick with a horizontal version for now. I think that kind of blocky background um, looks pretty cool. I'm going to go for the block one, I think. When you're happy with your choice, click on OK, and it automatically puts in like a, um, a navigation bar for you. Now I'm going to have my navigation bar here, um, right in the middle. So it's about there. When I go back to home, you can see it's already there and it's already put in the, the, type, the two for me. If I add a new page in now, and I give this a page name of um, Later Life, change the file name, Later underscore Life, make sure, in, make sure that Include Navigation is there, click on OK, and it puts it in automatically for me over there. If I zoom in a bit, you'll see that it's there. So it's really easy to add navigation. Um, as long as you want it on every page, make sure it goes into a master slide. Um, if you want to add a page, um, for example, in my early life I went to primary school and secondary school, so I might want to create two new pages for those things. I could go to add new page, um, include the navigation, so this will be primary. Change that to primary. Click on OK. 
I don't want it to be part of the total navigation bar, but I actually want it to be part of my early life. So I would just click on that page and drag it onto the early life. Oops. And there we go. And um, I'll do another one for secondary. OK, and it automatically snaps to it. Now, if I go back to the preview um, site and I want to preview the entire site in Internet Explorer, I can see that it's already built in the navigate. Oops, make sure you allow the content. It's already built in those pages for me um, with those with the navigation bar working, and I can use those drop down boxes. And of course, the more pages you add, the more pages you nestle in, the navigation bar will change automatically. So it's really that easy. You can apply lots of different master slides as well. So if you want on, say, the early life pages, I wanted something different, I could then create another master page. Um, if I want the master page B to always have a picture of myself, I could, oops, I could add in a, import my picture. So I might want it to have that little picture of me. I always want my picture to appear um, down about here, not too big. Yeah, this is just an example anyway. Um, I can then go back to primary, click on, right click on primary and go to the page properties. Um, go to background and include master B and then it appears. I can then do the same thing for the secondary one, background, master B and it includes the both, both things from um, master A and Master B on that page. If I wanted to do something with that though, uh, for example if it was a text box and I wanted to slightly change it, I could then click on that image there. You see it at the moment surrounded by like a red box. Click on the thing where it says promote from master and then it becomes a part of that page only. Um, and then I've got those sort of things and you can see the difference if I go to back to preview site. Allow the block content. Early life, primary, there's the picture. Secondary goes back to normal because it, I didn't uh, bring it to the front. So it's that easy. That's how you add um, new pages, make pages look consistent through the masters, um, and how you apply multiple master slides to each thing.